Today we're going to be replacing the lens on an iPhone 7. Now this process will work on the iPhone 8 and the iPhone SE 2020. Starting us off, we have this kit from Amazon. Now it came with instructions, a razor, and tweezers. The tweezers were the most important tool in the kit for me. I used the tweezers exclusively. Uh, I found that it had the most versatility and dexterity, so you know it, it really helped get all of the glass pieces uh, out of the lens. Now, opening up this box, you can see there are some wet wipes. I actually didn't use them at all. Just so long as you don't get your fingerprint on the actual lens itself, um, you'll be fine without them. And then you can see that it came with the lens, and then behind it is the adhesive. Now, it also came with um, a microfiber cloth, which again, you won't really need, um, so long as you don't get your finger on the lens. So just try to keep that in mind. Now, you know, getting our phone, you can see that the crack is it's not too bad, but you know it was bothering me, so I just wanted to replace it. In that bottom left corner, you can kind of see like that's a good place to start, to kind of get the tweezers in, and to just start prying. And I did use a um, just a blow dryer. Um, it really helps make the glue a lot more pliable and easier just to get out and get underneath everything. So I skipped ahead a little bit. I heated it up for like about a minute. Um, try not to get it too hot so you don't damage the actual uh, device itself. So once you heat it up, you know, just try to get a good spot. You really do have to kind of force yourself in. Don't be too shy. Just try not to scratch your actual device because, you know, that that's going to be a much bigger fix um, if, if, that, if it's at all possible. So just try to be careful, but also, you know, you do have to use some force. And don't be afraid to reapply the heat. The heat really does uh, help out a lot. So, you know, you just got to work at it. I got a shard, a shard out. So you just got to get, like, good angles. You can see here I'm trying to get underneath the glass. Um, and then I just skipped forward a little bit. It's it's pretty mundane. It's the same process over and over. Um, but you can see here also, once you get the glass out, tap the phone down just to kind of get all that those small pieces out and then you can kind of just work your way around the lens to get the glue out. So again, you know, keep tapping your phone down throughout the process just to keep the glass out. And then you are going to want to double check, make sure your focus and your lens are not damaged. So just test your focus, if your uh, autofocus, if your autofocus works and your lens isn't scratched, you did a good job. So looking at the actual lens itself, there's going to be two sides. There's going to be a glossy side and then there's going to be a matted side uses a matted side as the side that you're going to put the adhesive on. And then you can see in this kit, it came with the adhesive in a ring, and you can just peel it off, place it on the actual lens. Um, and it doesn't have to be perfect, but it does have to be uh, within the black area of the lens, because if it gets uh, on the clear side, it is going to end up, um, or the clear area, it is going to end up affecting your actual um, camera itself. And if you do get it on it, you can either wipe it off um, or I would recommend just using the other lens. It's much easier. So once you place it down, you can kind of position it to be in the center. It doesn't really have to be. Again, I didn't mind. Um, and then once you peel it off, you can see the glue is actually a really nice, um, uh, a really pretty thick layer. So don't take out the lens from the package itself. Leave, leave it kind of sticking on and then you can place it onto the phone and press down. And press down a few times from, and just kind of work your way through it. Just to kind of get the glue really um, inside all the notches. And then just peel it off. And you can see it looks pretty good. Really no issues, no problems. I will say give it 12 hours just to really um, get settled on. So with that said, don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate you guys watching. Um, and, you know, leave feedback below in the comments. And I uh, look forward to seeing you soon.